Helicobacter pylori is a gram-negative spiral-shaped bacterium, and it affects up to 50% of the population worldwide. Up to 90% of people infected with Helicobacter pylori never experience symptoms or complications. But in other part of population it causes several diseases, peptic ulcers, chronic or atrophic gastritis, and even cancers. Individuals with chronic Helicobacter pylori infection have an increased risk of acquiring a cancer that is directly related to this infection. These cancers are stomach adenocarcinoma, and, less commonly diffuse large B-cell lymphoma of the stomach or other parts of the body. Individuals infected with Helicobacter pylori, may also develop colorectal or gastric polyps. They are benign, but over time, especially for colorectal polyps, it can turn to colorectal cancer. Symptoms of Helicobacter pylori infection can be acute or chronic. Acute symptoms include abdominal pain, stomach ache, or nausea. Chronic symptoms include stomach pain, bloating, belching, nausea, sometimes vomiting. Such symptoms are called non-ulcer dyspepsia. If ulcer develops it can have pain, which typically occurs when the stomach is empty, between meals, and in the early morning hours, but it can also occur at other times. Even ulcer can be asymptomatic. Less common ulcer symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and loss of appetite. Helicobacter pylori infection is usually acquired in early childhood and persists in the absence of treatment. Helicobacter pylori harms stomach and duodenal linings by several mechanisms. First, ammonia produced by Helicobacter pylori is toxic for cells. Also proteases which further damages cells. And cytotoxin, associated gene CAGA can cause inflammation and can be carcinogen also. Transmission. Most common way of transmission of Helicobacter pylori is oral oral route. For example among family members who share utensils and kitchen tools during feeding. Other common transmission is fecal, oral and sexual routes. Colonization. H. Pylori colonization consists of four important steps. 1. Urease activity of Helicobacter pylori, countering the acidic environment of the stomach. 2. Flagellar-mediated motility helps Helicobacter pylori move towards host gastric cells. 3. Adhesion to host cell receptors and 4. Successful colonization and persistent infection. Diagnosis. Helicobacter pylori infection is diagnosed by both invasive and non-invasive methods. Non-invasive tests include the detection of Helicobacter pylori antigens in the stool, detection of antibodies against Helicobacter pylori in serum, urine and oral samples, and a urea breath test, UBT. The stool antigen test and urea breath test have high sensitivity and specificity, similar to the invasive methods. Invasive tests require gastric tissue for detecting the organism and include culture. Culture is the only method with 100% specificity. Urea breath test means, patient drinks 14C, or 13C labeled urea which the bacterium metabolizes, producing labeled carbon dioxide that can be detected in the breath. Management. Triple therapy including, proton pump inhibitors, amoxicillin, and clarithromycin for 14 days is the treatment. If this regimen fails, clarithromycin can be replaced with metronidazole without further antibiotic susceptibility testing. Prevention. A phase 3 clinical trial in children in China documented the efficacy and safety of an oral recombinant Helicobacter pylori vaccine, a future option to reduce the incidence of Helicobacter pylori infection. The vaccine offered protection against Helicobacter pylori infection up to 3 years. Booster doses can be needed for long-term protection.